Galveston emergency management officials have now issued a voluntary evacuation order for the island's west end. And Galveston County has issued a disaster declaration. ABC 13's Alex Bazargian spoke to island officials and residents about their expectations going into tomorrow. Beaches were full today. Grocery stores not necessarily looking any busier than usual, but residents are certainly keeping their eye on Barrow's track. A lot changing, but emergency officials say that's exactly what you should be doing, paying attention to how this storm may impact you. This is just normal. This is as usual. A laid back approach from Galveston resident Vernon Williams, who isn't set on whether he's staying or going ahead of barrel. If that thing picks up steam and becomes a category one or two and then it turns north toward Houston, I'm out. Based on the storm's projected track, landfall will happen Monday morning somewhere near Matagorda Bay. Barrel likely peaking as a category one, bringing storm surge, heavy rainfall and choppy surf to coastal Galveston. Staying warm is very important with this storm. The track has changed dramatically from what was predicted eight days ago. So it's about three to 400 miles north of where they thought it would go. So that's why you got to stay informed, but also make your plan, know what you're going to do should an evacuation be called. Voluntary evacuation orders have been issued only for the island's west end. Adrian Wiseman has decided to stay put. With two kids at home, loss of power and water are both scenarios she's preparing for. So that's why I got drinking water and when I get home I have a big old um, crawfish tub I'm going to fill up with water for flushing toilet or washing hands or anything like that. Galveston County Judge Mark Henry is hoping residents who have ridden these storms out in the past aren't letting down their guard this time. People start to become fatigued with the idea of a hurricane and they start to take them less seriously. That's a problem. And equally as important as all the new people that have moved here and have never been through a hurricane. They don't know how to take it. They tend to either overreact or way underreact. Very few people get it right. Wiseman is certainly aware of the punch barrel could pack. For that reason, the hairdresser gave her clients the option to reschedule their Sunday and Monday appointments. But turns out business will be as usual. Every single one person has been like, well, if I can make it, I'm going to be there. In Galveston, I'm Alex Bozargian, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.